It's Wednesday, and that means API news, or sorry, I should say EAI news, uh, today at 10.30 Eastern. So it should be uh, an exciting one. Uh, as you guys may know, yesterday we had the API news at 4.30 Eastern, and that's this uptick here that you see. So basically we were stuck at around 43.50 or so um, for uh, much of the late afternoon. And then right where uh, we got the news release, um, which was a mixed news release, you know, depending on what you're looking for, uh, gasoline, crude, <clears throat> etc. So basically the, the results didn't materialize into any significant swing, but I was simply, you know, other than being disappointed that we didn't get a spike, uh, which would have been nice and given me uh, more confidence in exiting at least one long position, um, at least we didn't tank. Um, as you can see, uh, early this morning in uh, European trading, we did retest 43, so that's that's good for us. It gives us a little bit more confidence in, in doing the uh, 4370 um, tests that we're conducting right now, trying to break through. Uh, so depending on what happens this morning coming into the open and uh, before 1030, I may exit one long position for a small profit. Um, it's really not so much about taking the profit per se, which would at this point, for example, would be about one and a half percent on that position. Um, and that's, you know, I'm perfectly happy with that profit anyway. Uh, but in this case, it has more to do with reducing exposure. Um, there's still, you know, it's, it's always 50, 50. And regardless of the fact that I believe that we're heading up, um, it doesn't mean that we might not head down before we go up. And if we do, we're heading to 42 at least. Um, so, you know, in the back of my mind, I'm trying to keep focused on the long-term goal, which is, you know, building up the long bull position, um, but also being wary of another tank and making sure that we, you know, at least minimize the losses um, wherever possible. So taking a small profit and at the same time reducing exposure, you know, it's, it's a no-brainer as far as I'm concerned. Um, sure, if we end up spiking, um, it's you know lower profits. Uh, but keep in mind that we're still holding three long positions. Um, the lowest one being at about 44, um, 34. So we're going to benefit no matter what, or I should say, I'm going to benefit no matter what. Um, you know, the chatter on the discussion forums this morning is definitely very bullish. Everybody's trying to push it up to 44. Um, I would love to see that. You know, at that sort of price range, I would actually consider exiting two long positions. Um, both uh, my most recent buys would be in the money at that point. Uh, so, you know, I like to ask myself, uh, what would I regret more? Would I regret, in this case, missing out on the profits that would come from a spike on the um, EAI news at 1030? Or would I regret more if we ended up tanking and I hit, a, you know, I suffered a major loss on these two positions? And you know, I'm definitely risk averse, and I would prefer to take a profit and reduce exposure. And you know, after the news, I can always play that um, depending on what's happening. So that's my game plan <clears throat> for this morning, Wednesday, news day. Um, it should be an exciting one. If you guys aren't in. Um, and you're looking for an entry, I would probably suggest that you kind of wait until after the news. Um, I think these sorts of days, if you're in, then you, you prepare to take advantage of, uh, of you know, whatever move that you're positioned for. But if you're not in, the smart move, the safe move is really to wait until after the news and don't you know, place bets, gamble on what you think will happen. It's literally 50-50. No matter what the news says, no matter what the forums chatter is, um, play it safe. Um, so good luck to all. I'll let you guys know what happens with the with my orders. Uh, if we keep moving up, like I said, I'm going to be selling at least one position, if not two, depending on where we land. Um, and other than that, it should be an exciting one. So good luck to all. I'll follow up with you guys after after trading, or somewhere close to uh, to four o'clock ish Eastern. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, uh, use the forums down below on YouTube or over on uh, tradingjournal.ca uh, where you can find my portfolio and uh, trade notes and trade charts and etc, etc. And yeah, until then, cheers.